Black Man and Robin. Just letting y'all know, one of these days we're gonna do an episode once we're popping and famous. I'm gonna tilt this middle camera up so you can't see it, but we're gonna do an episode where we're getting topped off. In the <laughs> Only fans account coming soon. <laughs> you know what it is. It's the niggas who'd oh, like to know. trigger. <laughs> that was good. That was good like right? I've been sitting on that one for a while. Oh, planned it. It's scripted <laughs> ass yeah, niggas. It's scripted. But it sounded <laughs> organic. I'm Kaizen. Here we got Amari. What's happening? Back at it a motherfucking gang. What we gonna talk about this time in our road to cancellation. <laughs> Let's find out. The road to cancellation. A new study on COVID-19 vaccines that looked at nearly 100 million vaccinated individuals affirmed the vaccine's previously observed links to increased risks for certain adverse effects, including myocarditis and Guillain-Barr syndrome. They confirmed that the shots made by Pfizer, Moderna and AstraZeneca are linked to significantly higher risk of five medical conditions, including a nerve wasting condition that leaves people struggling to walk or think. That's astonishing. And I think according to Pierre Corey, would warrant in any other medicine its withdrawal. Cool. <clears throat> oh, damn, should, so much here, bro. Yeah, should we should we take a sec? Oh, I know you I know you hurt it right now. I know I'm you hurting, I know you sweat it. Um I would just like all the ladies to know around the world that uh vaccine free sperm over here and <laughs> I'll be selling it at five hundred thousand dollars a vial. What? 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 <laughs> how do you feel? So right? that's how you're gonna get rich. Yeah, hundred percent sperm donor. Yeah. No, not donor. Sperm salesman. <laughs> Look here, we got a... Uh, <laughs> I'm a sperm merchant. <laughs> <laughs> come here. I, I, got, I got this. Uh, take a closer look. It's your kid. No, 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 no. Come on. No, come no, on. No, you gotta no, take no, a Johnny, closer no, look. No, that's close enough, Johnny. He's beautiful. No. Yeah, come I'll on. trade you. Catch. What the? Oh, shit. Oh, God. Damn, I'm actually, like, sad. Yeah. Like, genuinely sad. I, I could feel sad. that from you. Yeah. I, I was like, damn, I want to, like, rip on this nigga. But it's yeah. like, it's not even funny, bro. I'm sad, bro. It's not even funny. Yeah, so I got the vaccine, and I regret it. Damn, this nigga sound uh, like, hold on, this sound like a, a documentary. I know, right? My name is Kaizen, and in 2021, I got the vaccine. <laughs> <laughs> like, Jesus. And all of a sudden, he just started twitching yeah, and fucking, like, fuck. eye rolling. Jesus Christ. Uh, I convinced my mom to get it when she was resistant to it, too. God. And that feels fucking bad. Um, Jesus. And this was before I was awake mm. and suspicious of institutions and systems and fear-based narratives mm. and i didn't get all of the shots i only got the first one yeah and then i i had my awakening i was like what the fuck is all of this yeah. shit so it's just your, uh, your pre-cum that's fucked yeah no the rest of it's good so <laughs> just let me like get off on your titties and, th and then oh, the God. Rest <laughs> well so the pre-cum's contaminated but the rest is all right, moving on. All right, all right. I don't know, that's not gonna work you need two of them you gotta scoop one into the other <laughs> Honestly, I feel I feel betrayed. Mm, mm. Uh, I feel just sad, mm. and I, it, it, I'm sitting here like, wow. What if my parents die earlier mm. because of this vaccine? What if I die earlier? Mm -hmm. What if I have kids who have congenital defects because of this vaccine? Now, I've done a lot of blood. I've damn. done a lot of blood work and like medical stuff since then, and I'm hoping that it cleared the stuff out. But mm. we just don't fucking know. Yeah. And there's obviously we never know. Like I think there's genuine fear. Like people were doing this shit out of fear. Mm. I did it out of fear. Mm. And I, I'm not gonna get into like conspiracy theories, but f certainly the pharmaceutical companies who developed these vaccines had incentives mm -hmm. to just push this shit out mm -hmm. and make money <laughs> rather than actually cure people and there was so much mania and hysteria around mm -hmm. this thing that ultimately was only really dangerous for people who had comorbidities that now we're in a situation where the cure is actually worse than the sickness and that's fucked and so i think the, the saddest thing here is i'm glad russell brand is talking about this but i think people aren't even paying attention people don't want to pay attention yeah right because they're going to experience what you just experienced mm -hmm. like first of all this should be massive news like <laughs> this should be like mm -hmm. top of the line like this was a million multiple million people study so this should be front and center there is a conversation to be had about like why is it not right yeah i think that there's you're not gonna have NBC sponsored by Pfizer and then them also be like, by the way, we found out that Pfizer has fucked killing you. you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and it's like, that's just not gonna work. Um, it's not a good business model. And secondly, I do think that even if this were to spread at the rate that it deserves to spread, I think that a lot of people would not wanna confront that conversation because yeah. they're gonna have to hit what you just hit, which is just like- I made a mistake fuck. and I was betrayed, I was misled. Yeah, and yeah. A, a mistake that I, 
as of right now have nothing i can't do anything about permanently it. maybe life-changing permanently yeah, yeah i was also met with confusion because mm. i was like all right well where is he getting the source who's mail mm. online did he read the study himself because part of the the fucked thing about the whole situation was there was science mm -hmm. We think of science as this monolith, but no, mm -hmm. science is composed of scientists who are people mm -hmm. and people have agendas and incentives. So it's even hard to know what news to trust mm -hmm. because at the time you could do a Google search and find studies by scientists confirming either, mm -hmm. either case. So I'm sad, man. I'm just fucking sad. Damn, bro. It's like, I want to like make jokes, but now I'm just like, it's just fucking sad. And I no, can't even no, I, I'm not going to. Uh, I'm not going to defend what I did. Yeah. yeah. So it just, it just fucking sucks. And. Yeah this is okay this is the thing that i know we as a species fucked up on mm -hmm. suppressing people who were questioning the vaccines 100 percent. like conspiracy theorists no they're just facts it's like this is oh. a a novel it's literally called the no novel coronavirus right mm -hmm. so something we have not dealt with before mm -hmm. i remember when this whole thing was happening Everybody was in fear. Everybody's like, oh, what the fuck is going on? Like, mm -hmm. it, it's, it's hysteria, right? Mm -hmm. And I remember hearing like a news report at one point when we were in mid hysteria and somebody was like, based on how science works, we wouldn't be able to have a viable vaccine for at least a couple of years, mm -hmm. right? And that, that was just like a fact. It was like, everybody's like, damn, that fucking sucks, right? A couple months later, they're like, we got one. Z Burger in Kenley Town is giving customers a free small order of French fries. All you have to do is show your COVID vaccination card. A Vienna brothel is providing COVID-19 vaccinations and giving those who take up the offer a 30-minute session with a, quote, lady of their choice. Yeah, I was wondering if I could get my booster shot. And I was like, oh. Hold on a second. <laughs> Let's rewind the tape. You remember a couple months ago when you said it's because of the fact that this is a novel coronavirus, the fact that we just don't know, like it doesn't even have to be conspiracy theorists. If you just look at and you have a basic understanding of how science works, it's like there is literally no way that you can know what the effect on a child would be if you gave this shot to a pregnant mother. Kimber! You would just not know that no, this hasn't been out for nine months. <laughs> like mm -hmm. the coronavirus hasn't been happening for nine months. So you're about to put that in a pregnant woman not knowing how it's going to affect her or the it just doesn't make sense mm -hmm. and for me it wasn't even so much about like oh there's government control and there's you know these overlords who are trying to control i was like just factually it just doesn't make sense for me to put this in my body when i'm not actually afraid of the the thing that i am trying to protect myself from mm -hmm. it just doesn't make sense mm -hmm. and the risk factor is just too high yeah, and the way it was justified was it, here's the thing with fear. It like causes a premium semen, baby. <laughs> just keep plugging it. <laughs> just, just so we know. Sponsored by Amari <laughs> Semen. You know how you go to Exxon, it's like 87, 89, or 93? Like, <laughs> premium <still>. unleaded. <laughs> uh, uh, premium, <laughs> premium unvaccinated. <laughs> just so you know, you got premium unvaccinated. Premium unvaccinated <laughs> semen right here. It's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's rare. Yeah, but it's, it's, the price is going rare. up. It's going up. There's yeah. a lot of Saudi it's... Arabia war right now. Like, <laughs> price per tank is high. <laughs> God. It's a very intelligent joke. It is. You, yeah. you have to be high IQ. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Unvaccinated. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so it went over my head. Uh, <laughs> Uh, yeah, so I, I remember I actually wasn't very fearful of COVID. I was mm. like, all right, whatever. I don't really want to hang around niggas anyway. So I think about it, I like niggas. Yeah, I was like, oh, I'm actually good. Like, y'all stay six feet away. <laughs> 60 feet is good. COVID, go ahead. You deserve a break. But I remember I was more lackadaisical. I was just mm. like blindly trusting. I was mm. like, oh, yeah, I guess if they're recommending it, it should be fine. Yeah. And uh, it, it felt inconvenient to not get the vaccine because mm -hmm. there are all this discussion of you're not going to be able to travel, yeah. restaurants are not going to allow but you But I think in. that was the intention. Yeah. How so, can I make it as inconvenient as possible for you to, to, to not trust me? There was a tremendous amount of social pressure around yeah. it. Yeah. And I, I get that because, look, at the time, we genuinely didn't know how deadly COVID was for a while. Mm -hmm. But eventually we did. And we found out it's not that deadly. Yeah. It was like I had a bad cold for three days. Ooh. Yeah. It's not that deadly if you're a healthy person who's taking care of yourself. Yeah. Um, but but going back to, the, to actually the more insidious thing is this is what happens when you suppress free speech. A hundred percent. People were literally <laughs> getting banned off fucking Instagram and these platforms getting canceled by the community mm -hmm. for just questioning this yes. stuff. And we can mm -hmm. judge the organizations and the companies and the platforms that have done that. And mm -hmm. I think it's, it's very easy to do that. Yeah. I would also just fucking point the fingers back to 
our own friends, families, people in our lives, mm. the relationships that were broken apart when people are like, you're unvaccinated, all of a sudden I don't trust you as a human being when we've had built up relationship for all this time. Mm. You're saying that you don't wanna fucking put this in your in your body, I'm gonna go ahead and make assumptions about your character and all mm. these things. It's like, yeah, before we can blame all these companies and organizations and governments that have been so mean to us and lied to us, how about we take fucking accountability and responsibility for the, how we treated our fucking friends? You know how many times I had to fucking get calls from my dad being like, why are you not vaccinated yet? Why are you not vaccinated yet? Da -da 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 -da. It's like, bro, I'm, I'm not doing this. And I remember I went all this time not being vaccinated, still in vaccine, 93 premium semen. Oh my God. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> but I remember I went all this time, like not getting vaccinated. And keep in mind, like I, I want, without judgment, I want everybody who pressured other people to get vaccinated mm -hmm. to take accountability for how difficult it must have been to have all of your friends all of your family make assumptions about your character mm -hmm. for not making the same decisions like can we all first of all take accountability for that right because i had so many people close people who like judged me and wouldn't allow me to speak my piece right because of what they assumed about my character that when I see somebody out in the world who's not wearing a mask, I instantly think you are a threat <laughs> or you are selfish or you are a COVID denier and you definitely haven't been vaccinated. However, I then had one cousin who is a literal medical professional have a conversation with me and literally just be like, oh, I'm just curious, like why you don't want to get vaccinated. Mm -hmm. And the fact that she even like asked yeah. and wanted to know made me actually after that conversation was the closest I was like, oh, I might get vaccinated. Yeah. Yeah. There, there, look at that curiosity instead of cancellation is what got you to consider a different perspective in the same curiosity instead of cancellation is what got him to consider a different perspective so Imagine guess what that. Guess, guess what <laughs> cancellation doesn't work it doesn't work it doesn't work it literally just brings people apart and guess what you might cancel somebody and then mm -hmm. a couple years later find out you're fucking wrong mm -hmm. and it's like cool now you've lost that relationship and now your fucking semen is fucking back <laughs> 7-eleven gas station <laughs> fucking stress you have a child come out with two heads <laughs> Oh, that's a Moderna baby. Look at that! I don't know which one I got. I hope it's not Moderna. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Come out with fucking tri the, the twins with one body. You know, but... Jesus. Yeah, yeah. Fuck. I'm just, not, I'm just not rolling the dice with that kind of yeah. shit. You know? and, and, and it's sad because this is all... Russell Brand, is. this is still fringe commentary. Yeah. The majority of the world has no idea who Russell Brand is, and he's kind of speaking to people who already get his perspective. The yeah. rest of the world has moved on, yeah. and that's how we just keep on perpetuating the same bullshit over and over. Yeah. So we talk about free speech, and we make these edgy jokes, and it's all intentional because it's important that we allow yeah. everything, unless yeah. it's directly like kill that motherfucker, yeah, yeah. like that's pretty or fi literal fire in a theater. Yeah. You yeah. have to allow it to be heard. Yeah, let's it's unsafe to cancel. Break the the fourth wall real quick. I know you know you guys love coming to this show because you're like oh wow they're just so handsome and they're so hilarious wow yeah. the commentary is just so important yeah. i get it 100 yeah. percent. Yeah. relax yeah. baby just take a deep breath but yeah. what i want you to really understand is all this fucking humor and all this fucking fun memes and gifts and whatever it's all just the lube Ooh, it came out. it's mm. all literally just the massaging of the inner thighs it's me putting on the fucking jazz music so that when we insert when we tell you the fucking truth you're at least a little bit more open and willing to listen to it because otherwise you're gonna be like, oh no, if we're fucking serious and we're fucking here just like, fuck, burn it all down. You're not gonna listen, you're just gonna be fucking conspiracy theories. Yeah. But all of a sudden it's like, oh, Mix is kind of good looking, you know? It's like, all right, they got a little fucking dog here, like fucking amazing. It's like, okay, cool. It's all fucking intentional. The whole point of this show is that you are willing to consider alternative perspectives mm -hmm. that might lead you closer to truth and ideally after that lead you closer to personal fulfillment. Yeah. Really, jazz nigga? Uh, yeah, I don't really the weekend, know. nigga. Like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <I'm laughs> like, Stretch that tiny little pussy. It's like I already be fucking nobody no jazz. Yeah, come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like I think the penis slipped out when he said jazz. <laughs> I was like, how's he gonna get back in there? <laughs> Throw some Chris Brown on it. Like, yeah, 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 not jazz. Not jazz. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You, you kind of had him with the <laughs> premium semen, and then you kind of fumbled the bag with jazz. So I was like, hold on, hold on. We gotta recover here. So <laughs> thank, you for, thank you for catching that. Yeah, I got yeah, you, bro. Yeah. We go put some of the weekend. On. Shout out to Abel. Yeah, trilogy. <laughs> do the whole jokes in the back and forth thing but to see you get sad about that mm. to, for a decision that like is just happened now makes me sad yeah um and like yeah it's like you know we'll get real it's like my fucking best friend now might have to fucking deal with potential health complications and like the kids that i would call my little nieces and nephews might have to fucking i might have to look at them with their fucking three heads and be like yeah. <laughs> could have been beautiful <laughs> i'm sorry pfizer <laughs> Little Fizey. I don't know, Fizey. <laughs> Jesus. 
<laughs> like there's a part of me that's like that that makes me sad you know like i mean even if you were to like you know get myocarditis i would still run the show and you know me and uzi would like i would just be <laughs> 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 yeah, nigga. <laughs> but I would prefer if you know. I don't know. Just... You know, it'd be nice if I had all my faculties about me. <laughs> I'll still be dope, but you know, what could have been? Yeah, just getting sick of this vitamins, bro. Like, Jesus Christ. So yeah, he's like, I'm out of here, bro. This is too much. Yeah, nigga's getting sad. Bro. He's not vaccinated. Is he? He's not vaccinated. Okay, cool. Yeah. So yeah, just to be honest, it's like, yo, I'm not here to fucking like, you know, if, if Pfizer wants to sponsor this show, you know, I'll take a dollar. But, <laughs> but like, but we'll go push your shit. Yeah, it, it's yeah. Le- it's less about like, oh, I don't like Moderna, I don't like Pfizer. It's more like, hey guys, remember that time when truth wasn't allowed to be questioned? Mm-hmm. Remember that time we weren't allowed to have conversations? Remember that time when you stifled and judged other people who had different perspectives? Yeah. Can we make sure we don't fucking do that again? Yeah. That'd be great. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. And, and truth wasn't allowed to be questioned. No, it wasn't truth being questioned. It was what turned out to be lies getting yeah, questioned. Yeah, yeah. And here's the thing about truth. Truth is discovered collectively. Yeah. If part of the collective is silenced, you cannot get to the fucking truth. And then you end up making decisions that are based on un not fully vetted information. Exactly. Yeah. And let's look at the counterfactual. Let's say that it turned out that the vaccines were perfectly safe and mm-hmm. the people who were concerned, you know, they they ended up being wrong. Yeah. Okay, well, allowing them to be heard would only strengthen conviction. You would think. That's what happens you when would, you have connection and curiosity. You would think in the battleground of ideas, the best idea would The win. best idea should win. In theory. Yeah, so this is fucked. And maybe next lifetime, <laughs> I don't know what to tell you, bro. Like, yo, it's like, what can I fucking do? Yeah. What yeah. can I fucking do? So. If you're experiencing anxiety, depression, <laughs> stress, or being human, take Moderna vaccine. There's another vaccine for that. Mm-hmm. It's yeah. a bunch of like white people like looking happy in slow motion. So, yeah. uh, just <laughs> one last point of emphasis. This is why fucking free speech matters. This is why cancel culture is dangerous. Mm-hmm. This is why outrage culture is dangerous. This is why virtue signaling is dangerous. Yeah. So, if you take nothing else away from this. Amari Sperm is on sale. Yeah, uh, premium. We're having a sale right now. Uh, <laughs> 97 unvaccinated uh, unleaded (laughs) premium sperm uh, available Uh, hit the link in the description it should be somewhere around here Uh, and yeah First come, first serve. There's only so much, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh boy, y'all gonna have me looking like fucking (laughs) (laughs) one more batch. (laughs) Jesus, have a great unvaccinated life. We'll see you next time. Love y'all. We appreciate y'all. And this is for the culture.